contents of our other books. We always have a favourites page. So tonight I said to Annie, okay, let's choose some materials that we really liked and we've worked with and we'll sort of blog on that being our favourites. But I suggested three items. <laughs> and Annie that was difficult for us. Or for me. Has only been able to limit herself to six <laughs> items. So why don't you start? Okay, great, thanks. At risk of losing the viewer. Okay, I'll make it quick. This is my favourite tool. This is a fine Swiss made tool. It a, makes a beautiful cut. Um, in the wood, in the wood. And wait, 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 wait. It's particularly good um, because it's like carved. So you can, you can, you can cut a curve, which is quite smooth. <laughs> is that one item? Yes. Okay, move along. This is the move case. Along. <laughs> and then we have, <clears throat> this is a GAC 200, a golden artist color. And um, you can see here it says our last bottle because we brought like 15 bottles of a variety of emulsions. Did you bring 15? Yeah, huh? Excuse me. What? <laughs> and that was wonderful and I love this product. I love this product. <clears throat> so do you want to do you want to say what this you product use for? is a glazing acrylic a medium that I use between all my layers. I mix that together with other golden products and for me it's part of what allows me to stabilize my images through a hundred layer, layers and really do the fossilization that I really need and provides that depth. Um, now, thank you so good. much. And I love, this was another one, this is a Liquitex um, palette knife. I love this. This helps me spread everything and I use this like a paintbrush. I love this. I have about 15 of those. Then, here's another one. This is Baltic birch! I love Baltic birch. Baltic birch is a fine, fine piece of wood. I love Baltic birch. Okay, stop with the love. Tell them why. Okay, because it has a soft outer shell, which is perfect for carving, and it is um, a hard inner shell. And hard inner shell. Like and, her. Like me. <laughs> and I can get it in the United States of America. And that's awesome because for years I had to get my wood from Italy or Germany, and this is something I can get here. <clears throat> and I think most people will call this cheap and nasty. I and I love it like everything <laughs> because it's cheap and nasty. <laughs> okay, are you going to do those? That's all I'm going to do. What about these? Well, I really do like these. These are really great too. These are called Stabilos, and they're fine little water or little they're water soluble, basically crayons. And I use them in my work, and in particular for the woodcuts, they're very descriptive. When the scale got so large, um, they make a mark that befits a large scale. Like it's, this is sort of like a really chunky oil pasta. Yeah. It's got guts. It's got guts and it's a great mark, exactly. Very good. And you like them too, right? I do like them, but I didn't choose it as my, you know, as my product. Well, I, I, I did, like the teacher said, I chose three products. And um, I haven't chosen a black good expert, actually. <laughs> no, a nice this is golden airbrush color, and I've talked about this a couple of times on the blogs um, in previous ones. Um, it's really sort of full throttle color, but it's not um, full body color. So it's liquid. You can hear it. Uh, and it flows on like ink, which I also really love. And but it's really, it's really great. You can thin it with water. You can thin it with a medium, um, and it's mm, sexy. Okay, I also have something rather special. <laughs> <laughs> this was a gift from Annie. For me. However, I, I bought myself <laughs> one too because I knew she wouldn't share. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'll just show you. It's graphite, okay? It's all graphite. It's hand bought filthy graphite. Comes in its little pouch, and this one is extra large. They come in a variety of sizes, right down to skinny mini pencils, um, but this one is exactly what we need. Well, what's interesting about that graphite is, <clears throat> it's a bit like magical graphite because it actually is water, it, it's, it's wettable, so it actually can run like a paint which is quite different to a normal pencil. It's an amazing product. And dry, it's silvery. So it's dark and silvery and, and skids across the surface. It's very, <coughs> it's very mobile. Um, my last favorite product is this, which is a rag. And you've seen, you can see it's been through a number of um, 
it's had a number of issues, let's say. But I thought we'd close with that because neither Annie or I really have used a brush pretty much uh, for the entire three weeks, and nor do we use a brush on a regular basis in our normal art practice. So it's good to have a good friendly rag. It is. It, I will say that it, it would be nice to close on that, but I think that there's oh, no. one more award. What's that? It goes to the best dungeon maid! Oh. <laughs>